of a, I guess I should say, advantage mentally. I think they're going to take it, though, in the last game. That's awesome. All right, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time. Who's going to move on? Who's going to drop out of the RLCS Grand Finals? It's Flipside Tactics versus Northern Gaming. If you've been waiting to get loud, now would be a fantastic time because we are in the final stages of the Grand Finals. It's time to go down to the commentary desk where Wave Punk and Shogun are standing by. Take it away, guys. Thank you so much, Axel Toss. And yes, I'm joined here by Shogun. This is the same lower bracket match we had last season. This is a seasoned rivalry, but this is a brand new casting situation. This really is. I'm a, I have a box. It's fantastic. I'm loving it. I'm tall. Get to experience what you experience. And speaking of tall, we have got two giants mm. of the scene coming in for this matchup. Last time these guys played Flipside Tactics 4 0'd Northern Gaming. Will we see more of the same? I really hope not. Me too. I really hope that this one is a battle for the ages going all the way to that game seven, that critical game seven. Last time, Flipside Tactics was able to pull it off. Greasy Meister was on the other side of this battle last time this one happened back in season one. And I'm excited to see how it goes. You heard Axel Toss get up and get loud. It's game day. We've got Northern Gaming in the blue with Flipside Tactics in the orange. Game number one gets set to go here. Maestro will be able to pick it up and put it in the corner. Immediately countered by Cookser. Murky Duda winning out that 50-50. He's wrapped it around in a dangerous spot, but Cookser's not able to get there just in time. And it'll be heading back away towards the midfield. Maestro gets it past Markey. An excellent setup here for Northern. He takes a shot towards the net, blocked away by Cookser. Yep, certainly seems like a good start here but by both teams just trying to ease their way in. Northern Gaming are coming off a loss that is somewhat fresh and sore in the wounds. Flipside Tactics, however, have gone the entire day undefeated, but both of them want to come in here with such so much on the line and try their best. The best way to start that, do not concede, take your time, get yourself into the game. That first goal will set the tone of this match and definitely the tone of game number one. First minute come and gone. Both teams with opportunities, but no one found the back of the net just yet. And as he tries to drop that one down, Maestro and him will both fall back. Allow Remco to challenge in the middle. Gets it past Greasy and Cookser. It's just Marky in the back right now. He'll zone out Greasy on his way, but Maestro didn't want to take ball control there, so he'll leave it at the midfield. It's now lofted high, and Cooks is the first one in the air. He'll be able to play this one towards the net. Northern Gaming falls back. Marky Duda drops this one. Oh, just barely high. So just, just high of the goal there. Yeah, it certainly was, but we're seeing Flipside willing to go for those types of plays, willing to get that ball on top of the crossbar and follow up as quickly as possible. But Northern Gaming stay strong. It did end up hitting the crossbar, and that could be dangerous. Just played away. Marky Duda now with ball control, pushing into enemy territory. He's able to send this one into the box. Greasy's there, but Maestro beats him to it. Puts it back over to the side and across midfield. He's now in the orange corner with Cookser, who's not able to get it through Mystic. It stays in the corner for now. There's Remco, the shot towards the backboard. Greasy picks this one up, lets it settle onto his hood, gets it past Mystic, passes to Marky, who keeps it airborne. Now it's Cookster in the air. The one, two, three from Flipside trying to finish this one off, but it'll be Remco who has the read. Yep, Flipside once again trying to find each other. They haven't really done much, though, to pierce open the Northern Gaming defense, who are just looking very casual in their gameplay right now. Not looking scared, per se, but more like they're trying to figure out what Flipside are going to try and do, and that's going to be oh. resulted in a goal against them. Greasy Meister able to put the first one on the board there. Flipside has the lead. Yeah, ball put up by Marky Dudar. Extra touch from him. Remco just has to try and jump and hope ends up not being too good for them. And Greasy Meister scores against his own team from season <laughs> one. You traitor! He has clearly switched allegiances here as he puts one on the board for Flipside. Looks to continue that here as they are back up on offense. A nice touch from Maestro, sends it all the way to the goal, and we've got a tie game. Cooks, I don't think, had too much idea about what was coming towards him. You see him hit the floor as Maestro takes the long shot. Ah, he's done a very slight drift as he tried to get towards it. Ended up taking too much time, and that's going to be a goal against them. 228, just past halftime in game number one. The last series we saw with Northern Gaming Ended up being very defensive towards the end, and they've kind of continued that on here. A low-scoring game we've got between Flipside and Northern. As Flipside presses out. They put it off the crossbar. Greasy tries to finish it off, but cannot get on top of it enough. And Cookser with a nice pinch just off the post. Can he finish this one off? It's high. Markey's up to try and finish it completely. It drops into the box once more. Dangerous positioning, but Northern Gaming able to hold on. 
once again, they are just there, as you said, holding on by the very skin of their teeth. Flipside, though, have still got the majority of the chances, and eventually they will break through. 150 left to go. Game number one, all tied up at one goal apiece. As Mystic pulls ball control in the corner. He and Maestro positioned very tightly. They're able to slowly work this one across the midfield line, but then Greasy is able to find Cookser. Marky oh, Duda now with a nice shot. Maestro blocks it, saves it for the time being. Cookser in, continues to create pressure. Maestro keeps his wits about him and has it back out to midfield, and Mystic pushes it across. Now Northern has ball control in enemy territory. There's the shot from Maestro. Gets it past Marky. 2-1 for Northern. Northern Gaming have taken their time, and it is paid dividends for them. Maestro just waits around because he sees Remco has got it towards Maestro. Lovely 1-2 passing play. And what a great finish, putting it far too far to the side for anyone from Flipside to get to. 120 left to go. Game number one, Northern Gaming with a one goal lead. They'll want to put some more on if they want to be comfortable facing off a team like Flipside. Cookser's just going to get that air carry all the way. Tie game again. You were talking about being comfortable. Cookser, guess where he's comfortable? He is in the air, takes it the entire way, and above the Northern Gaming defense. What a great play to tie us up here. 115 left to go. Game number one, a tie game again. Just as Northern was able to take the lead, Flipside's right back in it on the back of Cookser. You see Greasy here with the ball in the corner. He's going to take a shot by himself just off the post. Cookser in with the follow-up. Greasy almost has a beautiful redirect, but Northern Gaming is right where they need to be to finish it off. Northern Keep it away. Gaming are just giving them a little bit too much space at times. Eventually, one of these Flipside tactics moves are going to go in. And they need to get closer to this ball. 45 seconds left on the clock. All tied up, up two apiece. Mystic drops it for Remco, does not able to make it there just in time. Marky Dudon now into the corner, Maestro is there. Cookser has an opportunity, shoots towards the net. Remco with the save, is able to put it away. Maestro out and trying to get the shot. 20 seconds left here in game number one. Both teams with opportunities, but Marky has ball control. Remco tries to take it from him. Not successful in the corner. Maestro will steal the boost of Remco as they move this one forward. 10 seconds left. Cookser sets it to Greasy. If this doesn't change, it's going to overtime. It's in the air. Mystic tries to shoot towards the net, but no one has ball control. Final second air. Full court carry could be possible here for Flipside, but that one's going to settle onto the ground and we'll have overtime in game one. Yeah, I think this will suit both teams at this point in time. Neither team really looking that dominant. Yes, F3 have had the majority of the opportunities, but Northern Gaming are taking their time. They're playing well right now, and this could be an opportunity for them as Marky's just going to clear that one away. Greasy going to try and push this one out of his own half. Cookster gets a pass. Mystic. And Marky wins the 50-50 there as well. Remco now pushing out. Maestro bounces it off the wall. And now Greasy puts it over to the side. Marky with a nice touch towards the backboard, but there is Mystic again. Maestro will drop this one straight down. And Cookser down to Marky towards the goal. Oh, what a play. Very, very close there. Marky with a follow-up has an opportunity. Can he finish this one off? Drops it in a great place. Remco does not get the touch, and Maestro clears it away before Cookser could finish that one. So close here in overtime. Certainly is. F3 still trying to press their way through, but they've not managed to do it. But every single time, they're not trying to go for individual plays. They've got a one-two plays going, sometimes even three. And this is still the same result. Every time it happens, Northern Gaming run the risk of conceding without really building anything up themselves. Maestro up to Remco, no one in net right now. If he could finish this one off, does not like the angle he sees and backs away. Maestro and Mystic kind of bump each other. This could be good for Flipside as Greasy gets a great clear straight downfield. Cookser did not have the read on Remco. Maestro will be able to follow that one up. Al to Remco again, they'll push back across the midfield line. 124 into overtime, a nice long one here for game number one. Neither team wanting to concede this first game as Cookser passes to Marky, he takes the shot and Remco's there again. The savior medal for Remco. The only thing that is saving Northern game right now is their ability to save, which has <laughs> been really great so far, but they've allowed so many passes over to the middle, which has allowed Flipside to launch balls towards the net. Eventually it will break, I keep saying this, but yeah, it hasn't done so so far, and Northern Gaming can pounce at any moment. You don't want to give Flipside Tactics extended offensives. They will be able to crack through your defense. It's only a matter of time. You have to be able to get the counter plays. A great touch there by Marky puts it deep into the blue. 
Mystic follows it up, but Greasy reads it. Remco in the air, has to get this one away, bounces it off the ceiling, and Cookser dropping this one through. Has an opportunity, gets it through Maestro, but a great touch. Maestro pinches it away from the goal. Greasy up again on the backboard. Marky with the follow-up backboard once more. Cookser with the third touch. It's soft and in the corner. 226. We're halfway through another game, Shogun. Yeah, almost about hot. yeah, we're getting a lot of game here, aren't we? Oh, for because, sure. Because seven games just simply isn't enough for these two teams. They want to play each other at every single LAN event. And if they had the option, they'd play each other every single round. Well, this would be an opportunity for them. Nice save there from Maestro. Yeah, winning the 50-50 with Cookshire in the middle is important. He's going to try and take a shot, but there's Greasy over to Marky. Not only getting the clear, but getting the pass. The immediate transition, Marky shoots and Mystic saves. Remco will try to immediately switch this one around. The ball doing laps again. Maestro drops it towards the going. Greasy's there. Mystic in once more. Greasy oh. again. The double save from Greasy, keeping Flipside alive. Greasy does the only thing he can possibly do in that scenario. Jump and hope it catches the rear end of his car and flip side are still in it. Northern Gaming, as I said earlier, can pounce at any moment, and they try to there, but F3 avoid those snapping jaws. 3.20 into overtime, the longest one of the land so far. Cooks are looking to drop this one through. Actually, we did have one that at least went to four minutes, I remember. Remco and Mystic in the air. Over to the side, Greasy. Be able to bounce that one off the wall. Mystic takes a nice shot and cooks her. Able to get up in time. Save that one. Keeping us all tied up here. Next goal will take game number one. It's Marky Dudow puts it onto the wall. Able to bounce that one off. Greasy now following this one. Remco will pick it up. Cookser immediately gets airborne and puts it off to the side. There's Maestro again. Not quite get there. It's Mystic again here. Man, the Northern Gaming continue to hit this backboard. Making things frustrating for Flipside, but finally Marky gets the clear he's looking for. Puts it all the way to the corner, uncontested. It rolls the entire length of the field. But Maestro playing it over the top of two. It's all up to Marky as he puts it back up in the midfield. Cookser's there. No one's home in goal. It's not on target, but oh, finishes it off with the double tapping. Flipside wins. Cookser 97 comes through and gives us the winning goal from this four minutes and 19 seconds overtime. As you said earlier, we almost got an entirely other game, but Cookser. That goal is worth one on the score sheet, and that is a really important one at that. Very, very important flip side. As Gibbs said on the desk, and I'm ashamed that he said this, flip side pulled out some tactics against Northern Gaming, and Carpet didn't give him any trouble for that. Oh, we will. Oh, we will. We will Gibbs, right now. Be Gibbs, ashamed. Don't do that. Be ashamed of yourself. Just be ashamed. Holy cow. Look at these shots coming out. 19 from Flipside, coming close to their record, they said, of 26 shots in one game. Ridiculous there. Overtimes definitely help build those stats because it just goes on for so much longer. Yeah, it certainly does. They're going to start building up their stats line, but that is not the important issue right now. The important thing is Flipside tactics are 1 0 up but they've got three games that they still have to win. These two teams, very close. Northern Gaming already looking much better than they did last time these two teams played. We've just got started here, and that's fantastic. That was an incredible game number one. Remco, I wanted to talk about Remco and his defensive plays, the way the flip side continuously pressured, the amount of time they were able to sit in Northern Gaming's half, and Remco was always waiting in net. Blocked away so many excellent shots, but on the other side, there was Greasy. Yeah, it really was. Greasy was absolutely everywhere. Both players deserve a lot of credit for that matchup, but the, the win did go to Flipside Tactical. I want to see Northern Gaming try and come out of this next game a little bit more, try and find some sort of offensive pressure because it looked a lot like they were waiting for Flipside to overcommit. That's not very likely at this sort of stage. No, waiting for a mistake from Flipside after they're warmed up off of two series and coming off of a 3-0 victory over Take 3 is probably the wrong tactic. Northern Gaming, as you said, can be aggressive if they want to. I'd love to see that style of play come out of this squad. Game two now set to go on Manfield here. Northern Gaming will look to take a win in the series. And tie it up at a game apiece. Bounces off the corner out in a dangerous place there for Northern, but Maestro able to handle that well. Take it away from Markey. Cooks are in to try and take a shot as well. Now Markey once more. Fell back, grab mid boost, immediately turned and kept the offensive going. He and Cooks are doing work, keeping this ball so deep in Northern Gaming territory. Maestro now 
Able to get some solid passes up to Mystic. Remco will take a shot towards the backboard. No one's there, but Greasy will follow it immediately off of its bounce. And he's got a nice opportunity here. Just has the one to beat Maestro. Maestro's 50-50 game has been so on point all day, and it has given them so many opportunities to score. If you're a teammate of Maestro whilst you're in these sort of games, seeing that he's going to go forward for the ball and almost being able to know that he's definitely going to win it helps you out so much. It allows you to position yourself just a little bit more confidently and try get onto balls that you wouldn't really usually be able to get to. And honestly, right now, Northern Gaming still looking tentative, however. They, they can't do what they did in game one. That does not work. No, you have to change things up on the fly. Rocket League, a game of adaptability. 328 left to go in game number two. Neither team able to score. Game number one was a fairly low scoring game as well. Both teams' defense is holding on here as this one goes the length of the field. Remco meets it right above the crossbar. Tries to carry it back out to midfield, but is met by Greasy Meister. Mystic now will pick it up and put it back. Ping pong at the highest levels of this field. Maestro will let it bounce off of his car. Follow it. Mystic there now, 2.58 left to go on the clock. Approaching halftime here. And neither team has been able to find the back of the net just yet. No, both of them taking their time yet again. It's a lot like game one, where they're trying the hardest not to overcommit. That's going to be a great play from Maestro, even better save from Cooks. An excellent solo play there by Maestro, but Cookser had him read a mile away. Gets the save, still scoreless here. Seven seconds away from halftime. Marky tries to play it off the wall. Cookser is there as well. Three players going for that ball. And they'll be able to sort themselves back out, but the follow-up from Northern Gaming is strong. They're so close to the goal, but Greasy always there, not missing anything, keeps us scoreless. Yeah, but you can see the Kears starting to turn from Northern Gaming as soon as they had consistent pressure in the F3 half. They have asked so many questions of the defense. Yes, F3 have been able to answer, but if Northern Gaming starts to get themselves going, this could be very dangerous. This ball control right here from Greasy Meister so important as both Marky and Cookser had committed to the save prior. Marky Duda will be able to put that one up into the corner. Holding on right now, Cookser will look to clear this one. He and Marky kind of tangling up on top of each other in the past minute or so. 148 left to go on the clock as it goes back to the corner. Remco decides to leave it. Marky plays it towards the goal. Mystic and Remco both in the air, but Maestro will pick up the pass from Remco, send it back to midfield. Greasy will have to work shot. to do a great shot, bouncing off of the corner. Mystic able to get the save. The follow-up, though, from Cookser gives Flipside the lead. That is certainly what Flipside needs to be doing right now. That shot from Marky was so important. I do mean Greasy, and that allows space to be opened up. Players that had tried to go for the save could not get themselves back. The, the gap opens up, and Cookser slots it away. So difficult as a defender to deal with shots coming from antithetical directions. And there you see Cooks are able to take the shot from the other way. Oh the no. Defenders Marky! Able to do it. The pass play from Greasy to Mark. It's 2-0 Flipside. What an unbelievable play there from Flipside. One player to two players. All of F3 came in to be a part of that one. 2-0 to the boys in black and green. And it's 1.23 left to go for Northern Gaming to be able to put anything together on offense right now. They've had some decent shots, but nothing that's even come close to scoring. Remco there in the air does not make contact. And now Greasy Meister setting it very high over to the far side where Marky Duda in the corner watches. Cookser will play it to the side, an excellent clear. Earning himself a savior medal as well in this game. 102 left to go. Final minute of game two. Flip side with the game lead. The score, the series lead, everything right now, but Mystic able to get it through two players. It's a one goal game. That ball had barely even bounced off the ball before the Mystic was there. Look at this, so fast onto it. He's jumped before it's even bounced. He's already read it. Flipside try and get themselves towards it. However, Mystic has given his team a chance to get themselves back into this. There's the Northern Gaming we're used to seeing. Making use of that backboard, making use of the sidewall passes. Marky, though, with an excellent shot there. Maestro has to do everything in his power to block that one. Remco gets it through Greasy, but Cooks their final line of defense, able to get it away from Northern Gaming. 40 seconds left here, and Northern Gaming down by one. They need a goal to force overtime. We had overtime in game number one. Why not in game number two? So Maestro sets this one high. Cookser will say it away. 30 seconds left on the clock here. Flipside just looking to run this clock down. Marky Duda will leave that. will rotate with Cookser to the side. 
Breezy coming out in the air, trying to challenge Remco. An excellent read on his former teammate. It drops back to the middle. Mystic's there, and Marky will challenge. Excellent touches, final 10 seconds. Northern Gaming need this right now. The pass from Mystic to Maestro. Remco picked it up as well. They get it over one, but it's off to the side. Kutcher will clear it away. It cannot touch the ground if no Northern Gaming that. wants to win, and there's no one there. Flipside wins two in a row. Northern Gaming have been in this position before just a second ago as well. Yep. When they took on Mocket Aces, they managed to respond then. We really need to see them respond right now because that was a better game from them offensively. They did manage to take more shots. Yes. But they weren't necessarily the greatest opportunities, but they are starting to find their regular pace. They're starting to try and quicken it. Mm -hmm. Now they just need to try and open up flip side. Absolutely. When they did a better job kind of um, limiting flip side's immediate shooting options, they held them to only five shots in this game. So it's a much more even sided game there. But still, flip side, much more effective on offense. The way that they were able to pass between each other, the, all of their goals here being assisted. And it was, it was fantastic passing plays that gave flip side the lead. It really was. And that was because they were given space to do it yet again. Three players involved in that goal that completely decimated the Northern Gaming defense. It's stuff like that that allows Flipside to play at the level they are currently at. The ability to look out to the crowd and say, yeah, but that doesn't quite phase us. You're right. We're just going to play what we know how to play. Absolutely. And it's something we've seen, we've seen from Market Aces as well today. We've seen it from a number of good teams that the pass plays is still the best meta in the game. It's still the strongest thing that's the most difficult for the defense to deal with. And they have to be able to, 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 to eliminate those options from Flipside if they want to be able to take the win. But if you see a regular player coming towards you, there's only so many options he has. But if the player can time their shot, they can put it anywhere onto the net. That's what passing allows you to do because you can either take the shot early, you can take it late. Either way, the defender has to hope he can guess where that ball is going. Game number three set to go here in Urban Central. Mystic will pinch that one off of Markey. Sending it deep into territory. It's upfield of all the flip side players. They'll pinch it high and try to get situated on defense. An excellent play there as Greasy plays it over to the side. What could have been a sticky situation for flip side is now has them up on offense. Hooksor sets it out, mixed it. Drops it down. Crazy Meister. Able to play it high. Onto the backboard. Drops straight down. Ooh. Misses the final touch, but Cookster's in the air. They've drawn out all the defenders. Where's Marky? He comes in from the midfield and misses the touch. Mystic and Maestro now looking for the counterplay. Greasy had rotated and he will get the save. So close there for Flipside. Very fast start there from Flipside Tactics. They're trying to do what they did last game yet oh. again, as we see them almost manage to put yet another play together. Northern Gaming need to try and shut down this space, but at the same time, Flipside Tactics doing what Northern Gaming usually do quite a lot. Little extra touches to stop players from coming in. Remco turns that one in from the side. Northern Gaming looking strong though to start this match up. A great play here from Maestro to Remco. He gets in the air, plays it behind the back line of Flipside and then Remco in to finish. They get that first goal. That might be the motivation they need to take the win here. Certainly might be. That's going to be an early lead for them, which is certainly the best thing that they can hope for. That's almost an open goal there, <laughs> but it does roll off the side and NG can breathe a sigh of relief from that. 3.45 left to go. Flipside in a dangerous place. Hooker had lofted it nicely for Marky, but he was not able to get the final touch. Greasy tries to wrap it around. A textbook play blocked away by this northern defense. Maestro will play it across the back line, across the midfield line. Try to create another scoring opportunity. Remco misses in the air once more. But Mystic able to get it past Marky. The cooks are now on the wall. Out to midfield. Greasy in the air. Carries it towards the net. Maestro puts it off to the side. An excellent shot. Maestro knew right where it was going, though. Be able to send it away. 3-11 left to go in game number three. And Northern Gaming looking for their first win in the series. They certainly are. They've got themselves in the right position. Although that is not where you want to find yourself. When you're talking about positioning, look at where Remco is on this shot, just to the side of the goal, and in the perfect place for Marky to shoot, able to find the goal, tying up this game. 3.03 left to go. Flip side's right back where they started at. Even game. The next goal will take the lead. Flipside wins this one. That long shot going all the way. Is anyone there? Greasy, again, that's definitely the second time we've seen him do this this game. The long shot being blocked away by the former Northern Gaming player. Marky Duda. Actually, he's just going to not touch that one and let Greasy Meister and Cookster take it. Meister with an excellent oh shot. Goodness, what a save that was. Fantastic placement and a fantastic save. 
both sides. Right here at halftime, though. Both teams with opportunities to score. Marky will drop that one towards Cookster. He gets it past Maestro in the air. This is good for Flipside, but Mystic shuts it down. Sends it straight back into the orange. Puts it off the backboard out towards Maestro. But neither him nor Remco realize right where it's going to land. They don't get the touch. They're able to keep this offensive going as it drops towards the box, but it's Cookster who's waiting for it, and he'll put it off to the side. Yeah, Northern Gamers still trying to find their way through, but we're not seeing too many passing plays come from them. They're just trying to hit it, get off the backboard, and have someone try and follow it up. That's not quite worked out for them so far, though. That was a very good shot, forcing a move from Greasy. Greasy continues to have these amazing saves in this series as he keeps us tied up here with 153 left to go. Maestro trying to push out of his half. Greasy will push it back into the corner. Now over to the other side. Maestro passes to Mystic, but Marky gets their first cooks are over the top of Maestro. Flip side winning 50-50s, and that's what's got them so deep in enemy territory right now. Greasy will send it over towards Cookser, who falls back, lets Greasy move up by himself. Cookser lurks at the midfield, watching for an opportunity. Neither Mystic nor Remco had the ball, but it's not going to work out for Flipside. Remco slows this one down, sets it up for Mystic, an excellent pass. Mystic almost snuck that one underneath the crossbar. Just took their time, they knew they had the ball, and they didn't try and rush the play. That actually ends up working pretty well for Northern Gaming. They weren't able to find the finish. However, they have Flipside rattled very slightly, and they've sent the message that, yeah, we are capable of these types of plays if you allow us to settle into this matchup. Greasy Meister does not make contact. That allows it to make contact with the backboard, but Cookser's there, gets it through Maestro. Greasy sends it back to Cookser, back to Maestro. Can they finish this one off? It's so oh, close, it's in a dangerous spot. Marky's in the air, gets it around, and that's the lead for Flipside. Just too much pressure being put on. We can see the defenders slowly leave there. There's one, there's two, and then Maestro, just the last person in the net, has to try and watch and hope he can save Marky Dudar's shot. Unable to do so, it is put underneath him, and he has to watch as it goes in. 49 seconds remaining. Northern Gaming lost game one and two. They want this win so badly. If they lose this one, Flipside is on match point. And one more game would send them through to the finals. Well, we were mentioning pace earlier on, and it's still Flipside's pace as we continue on in this matchup. Northern Gaming, they've mentioned it in interviews. They love a fast pace. They love the ball to start being played long. But this ground game that Flipside are playing against them right now is just really throwing them off. Marky Duda able to send that one to the corner. 18 seconds remaining. Bounces it off the wall. So close to having a third goal. Greasy's long shot. This might be it if Cookster can finish it. He oh, he's got it! Gets through that back line. And man, Flipside's going to win three straight. Yep, yeah, just a long clearance here from Greasy. And Cooks is just going to catch that one straight off the back wall. Remco has to try and get himself up there. But the defender is always at a disadvantage in that type of situation. And that's what ends up happening. Two goals. Flipside Tactics looking comfortable right now. They don't look like that loss to Mucket. I mean, Northern Gaming's loss to Mucket. I'm just going to move on. Back to you. Back to you. Wait, go, go, go. I mean, I mean, Gibbs mentioned on the desk that this is a seven-game win streak. Maestro gets the nice buzzer beater, a nice consolation go, hopefully a morale booster as they move forward. But what I was saying, Gibbs said that Flipside is on a seven-game win streak against Northern Gaming before this series started. That means this is a 10-game win streak now. We've hit double digits. We have. I've never won 10 games of anything, <laughs> let alone in a row. Right. I don't know what they're doing at this point. Northern Gaming trying their best right now, but it's just coming up short as they're not able to get the, all the goals they need. They were one short in this game. And again, Flipside back in form, 10 shots once more. They continue to have so much ball control. Well, they were one goal away last game, and it was an overtime to start us off. They just missing out that one little thing that they need to push them over the top and get them their first win of this series. Unfortunately for them, they're one game away from being knocked out of the tournament. The answer has to come to us right now. Northern Gaming, the pressure is on, boys. Let's see what you can respond with. Absolutely. They are so close to this where they do not want a repeat of what happened last year, which third place is a pretty consistent place to hang out at. I'm, I'm, I would not be ashamed of them at all if this is where they ended up. But this is what Flipside does. They go down to the lower bracket and they just stomp on people on their way back to the grand finals. Well, we actually spoke to a lot of the other teams that had to play in the lower bracket and all of them were just looking at us going, Flipside, why are you going down to the lower bracket? <laughs> Please this don't. Is, we want to just keep going <laughs> up. Why do we have to try and face you? And it's really annoying for them to have to try and deal with, but Flipside, last first land and this land, going down early and then going for a tear throughout the entire bracket. 
I'm sorry, that's just really annoying to have to try yeah, and do. Sure. No, that's not a, that's not, that's the last thing you want. You're like, oh wait, the, the favorites, the number one seed from Europe, the people we think is gonna win it all, are now in the lower bracket, where when I lose, I have to play them? Please no, that's not what I want. But Northern Gaming, they've been here before, they know what this is like, and they're gonna try and carry that experience through. Is this the first time we've seen Utopia today? I... I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's the first time we've seen Utopia Dusk, for sure. One of the most beautiful maps in the game. And this is where Northern Gaming will make their final stand. They have to hold here. They need Game 5 so badly. And they will do it. They will put their all into this. Two players committing to that shot, trying to push it through. But Greasy Meister, he knows Remco and Maestro so well, is able to send it away. Mystic does not get the block. But Flipside, we saw this last game too. Flipside's accuracy has been ever so slightly off point. They have given Northern Gaming some breathing room and yet are still taking the wins. Yeah, they certainly are, but we're seeing team plays like this oh. are so dangerous. Very Flipside important. tactics, whilst their accuracy for shots has not been good, their passing has been on point, almost managed to turn that one in. Remco hanging on, still keeping Northern Gaming alive in this one, keeping us tied up at 0-0. Zero, zero. As the first minute expires, Mystic now in the air with an opportunity, drops it towards the net and blocked away by Mark. He went straight up, he'll finish it off and clear it to the side. And now Northern Gaming, everything on the line, trying their hardest. Remco drops this one into enemy territory. He'll let Greasy pick it up. The, set up. the touch is soft and Marky will follow it up. Bounces it off the ceiling into the box and Maestro is there. Clears it off to the side. Cookster tries to finish it. Remco will send it back across the line. 3.30 left to go in game number four. And we're still scoreless. Yep, it really just seems like now that the pace is still exactly what oh. Flipside wants. Oh, what a what? save! That's it's not him! Line. It's not in there! It finally goes in. Maestro will score there and get the first goal for Northern. Wow, okay, well, this was certainly a play. We see two players, though, from Flipside try and go for it. Greasy was the one that actually made contact, but it was not enough. That is an awful situation to be in if you're a defender. Tries to get himself to it. Wasn't quite enough, however, but we've been here before. Northern Gaming took the lead in the last matchup. They weren't able to close it out. Let's see if they can push forward this time. And Greasy Meister has been a monolith of a defense this entire series, but even his best effort is not enough to keep that one out as Meister is able to put one in here for Northern. Meister tries to push that one away from his own goal. Mystic in the air does not make contact. Oh dear, that unfortunate own goal. Yeah, really is unfortunate, especially after they've just taken the lead. Marky Duda, nice flick up from him, but I think this was only to try and create pressure. Certainly created enough with the own goal coming in, and Marky Duda will say thank you very much for padding my stats. <laughs> I appreciate that. I'll just take that right there. Between that and the four-minute overtime, he's going to look real good by the end of this series. Absolutely. Three minutes left to go in game four. They might sweep them here if they're able to pull off the win. As the last thing Northern Gaming wants, they will put their all into this as they try to push this one out of their half. Remco with a nice solid touch, puts it past Marky, but Cookser meets it. Maestro now at the midfield. Bounce it off to the wall, and the pinch will send Remco very high, but he wins out the 50-50. Marky do not now. Towards the back. Mystic off to the side, taking it away from Cookser. The pinch will go out in favor of Maestro, but gives control to Greasy Meister, who sends it all the way back. Hard counters on hard counters, what we usually call ping pong, happening here as these players are very, very good at reading each other. Marky will send it onto the backboard. It bounces out into a great place for Cookser, but he can't find the back of the net just yet. And it'll be Remco who picks this one up, passes out to Mystic. They're going to try and transition to offense. You can see F3 starting to push up further and further in this matchup. Greasy was almost next to those players as that pass was attempted to go in. And he's managed to get some pressure immediately after that. That shows just how comfortable F3 is right now. But Northern Gaming, this has been their best looking game so far. Trying to start moving the ball around with a bit of pace. And it's oh. much better for them. Okay, that is a mistake. They'll take that one, Greasy or Cookster, I couldn't quite tell who it was in the air, misses that one, and that gives the lead to Northern. Yep, just puts the ball up high, Cookster Cooks misreads that one entirely, and Maestro gets himself a goal. That's a lead for Northern Gaming. Now they just need to keep it. Mistakes on both sides leave us back where we were at the beginning, with Northern Gaming with the one goal lead, 150 left to go. The flip side, they'd love to put it away right now. Northern Gaming do not want to go quietly into the night. 1.42 on the clock for them to hold on. Cookser will send it up 
Back pass to Greasy, on his own backboard. Greasy sends it out towards Marky, who gets an excellent touch onto the backboard. Can anyone finish? Cookster's in the air, but Maestro's there first. Drops it over to Mystic, puts it in the midfield. Marky into the corner once more. Mystic will send this one high. Greasy's reading it. He's going to try and drop it down into the box. It goes away as Remco clears it. They're not out of the woods just yet as Cookster plays it back in, but Maestro is there and can send it back out to midfield. Marky Duda now. Into the corner, watching what Mystic does. It's lofted. Greasy's in the air, tries to put it through, but Remco was right there with him all the way. Final minute approaching. Flipside needs one. They certainly do. They've got games to spare, but they will want to finish this right now. They need to try and push through the Northern Gaming defense, which has been quite strong. Yes, Flipside have won these games so far, but it hasn't been high scoring at all. This suits Northern Gaming right now. Mystic trying to play that one away. Gets demoed on the wall. Cookster and Markey both up. They take a shot, and Remco plays it into the corner. Mystic is spawned on the far side, so the rotations will remain solid for Northern. Greasy Meister looking for an opportunity. Cookster plays it back into the middle. There's Markey, final 30 seconds. The pass to Cookster's oh, off the Cooks backboard. Oh! He almost puts it in. Markey is right there, but couldn't finish it off. Greasy now up, drops it again. Can they do it this time? No, so close. Cooks are coming in so clutch, but cannot get it underneath the crossbar. 15 seconds for Northern Gaming to hold on and stay alive. Northern Gaming saw their tournament lives flash before <laughs> their eyes right there. They have managed to survive this so far, but Flipside Tactics might have one more left in them. Oh, that touch from Maestro was important. It lost all the momentum. Greasy has to build it back up. It's into the corner. They're going to have to weasel this one away. It's not going to happen. Northern Gaming takes a win, and we go to game five. We have the rarest thing ever right now, Wave Punk. What's that? Last time these guys played, Flipside won 4 0. Yep. Currently, we see them playing. Flipside is up three games to one. Mm -hmm. We have managed between two series to get a Brazil in games. <laughs> How did you think of that? That's brilliant. I, uh, I don't know. Don't it was, encourage me. It was Do on not it. encourage me. Wait, they, they broke the 10-game win streak. They did. So that's, that's very good there for Northern Gaming. And they have kept themselves alive here in Season 2. They basically have to, not basically, they have to reverse sweep Flipside Tactics in a seven-game series if they want to make it to the Grand Finals. But Flipside only needs one more win. Their work is still cut out for them, but this is the first step. Yep, as you just mentioned, they have to get four wins. That is one win down, mm -hmm. three more still to go. But a performance like that, they can certainly do it again. It was another close match, only one goal separating them. I don't think we've had a single game where one goal has not separated these two teams. So at least they are pretty close. Yeah, no, they are playing very, very tight here, holding Flipside to only eight shots. Flipside has been just a scoring machine all weekend long, and they are keeping them to very, very few goals here. They only worked on five shots themselves as game six gets started. Northern Game is going to want to just keep doing what they're doing here, slowing it down, playing their defensive game, and, and, and taking in the mistakes that Flipside's given them. And who would ever thought that that is what we had said had, would be the key to a Northern Gaming win? Their defense and their ability to slow the game down. <laughs> Usually that's the exact opposite of what they want. Remco looking to pass up to Maestro. They're not able to find him just yet, but Mystic will send it to Maestro again, hung out at the midfield. And Markey. Picking up the ball control, able to get that one through Remco, but it had to go high to make it at all. Greasy, the long range reads from Greasy have been on point all weekend and they continues to stay true here. Maestro will try to push that one around, but Cookster ends up with ball control. Mystic there, excellent read by Mystic. Greasy, up to Maestro. Bouncing back and forth. Both teams just looking for any hole in the armor. They're both playing this widespread out style, and it's working out so well as both teams know that they can trust their teammates to make the touches they need. Yeah, and at this point, Northern Gaming cannot afford any mistakes, so it's really going to contribute to their slower form of play. And this is really going to test Flipside's ability to stay patient here. Yes, they want to try and finish this off right now, but they cannot overplay the ball. Greasy just lofting this one multiple times in the midfield. Trying to give Cookster and Markey opportunities. Markey misses that one on the backboard, but Maestro not able to get that one. We had another double demo. I just saw it in the kill feed. It was Remco on Greasy. Very interesting situation there, but 3.37 left to go, and Cookster's going to save another one, keeping it away. The low scoring continues here as these teams not allowed anything in. The ball is going to be played up high, and once again, Flipside are doing exactly what I said just a moment ago. They're taking their time. Markey, nice save from him. Both these teams still trying to feel themselves back into this game. It's like we've gone back to game one. Hoaxer, out to Greasy. 
Marky hangs in the back as Greasy tries to push a three. It'll be Marky who picks it up off the read, but Remco gets it again. Can he finish this one off? Oh, what a What sight. a close touch there. Greasy again. The defense holds on here for flip side now. And three minutes left to go in this game, still scoreless. It's like we've managed to swap roles here. Flip side were the aggressors for the majority of the games leading up to this point. However, this time Northern Gamings are the ones that are prodding and pressing, trying to see if they can squeeze a goal out of Flipside, they've done a pretty good job of it so far, but Flipside holding strong. Marky got a bit confused there. Excellent misdirection from Northern Gaming. He is able to make the save, and now he's got the counterplay coming through. Can Cookser finish this one off? And almost so close. Maestro holding on. Clutch for Northern Gaming. We're cross halftime in game number six. Northern okay. Gaming has to win. They continue to hold on on the defense. Maestro finds both saves for his team. He keeps them down to 0-0 in a crucial match. We cannot state this anymore. This game could be the one that could knock out Northern Gaming unless they can find the win. The winner of this match has got Mocket Aces in the grand final. Not only do they have Mocket Aces, they have to beat him twice. If they want to take the win. Cookser, oh, he almost had the go ahead right there. Did not make contact. One minute, 48 seconds remaining. It's Marky Duda. Tries to clear out of his own corner. Maestro had a beeline towards the goal. It was just wide. Three players from flip side committing to that ball. It's across midfield. Mystic will play it to the far side. No one's there. That's going to give Northern Gaming the space they need to move up. Mystic runs interference. Breezy and Cooks are in the air. A nice little tiny pass to send it towards the goal, but Remco hanging in the back. will be able to push this one up. Cooks are is demoed for the time being, and Remco will try to make the best of it. Breezy's there. Cooks are has spawned in. They will be able to try and push this one back out, but Greasy and Cooks are right up on top of each other. A bit of confusion from flip side, but lots of space given by Northern. Yeah, Northern Gaming seems to have just settled back into what they were doing the last couple of games. They're allowing Flipside to come forward just a little bit more, but that is still leaves that pressure there. Eventually going to be cleared away, but Northern Gaming starting to look uh -oh. more comfortable finding their teammates. Hooks are always where he needs to be on defense. Final minute of game six. And Northern Gaming, they have to score at least once in this game to have a hope. Flipside looking for their opportunities. Not wanting to concede, not wanting to make the mistake that gives Northern Gaming the opportunity. Mystic in the air, fall back. Breezy and Cooks are both in the corner. They get the solid clear in the final 30 seconds. It bounces off the wall. Maestro's up and Cookser wins the 50-50. Greasy will look to set up Marky as he puts it back there towards the backboard. Mystic has this one towards the flip side half. 15 seconds remaining, somebody has to score. It might be in overtime, it might be right now. Marky in the air, misses. Remco puts it off the backboard again, and Greasy keeps the pressure on. Right now, Northern Gaming just want this to hit the ground so they can reset on a kickoff, but it's going back. Maestro has an opportunity, Cookser puts it over to the side, and we go to overtime. Wow, what a game we have here. Yes, it says 0-0, zero, zero, but that just shows how tense both these teams are. They are trying to find a way through. This means so, so much to them to get into that grand finals of the RLCS Season 2. Marky Duda plays it over to the side. Cooks are watching. They're trying to play this one straight down. Mystical cleared away. Oftentimes when you have a 0-0 game, the final goal actually happens pretty quickly off the second kickoff. You just need that kickoff to reset things. But so far, these teams have kind of just settled right back in to the very defensive situations. Greasy off the wall. Misses that one, maybe leaves it for Markey. They've got it back into the blue, but Maestro all alone will be able to play over to the side. And Greasy and Cooks are both on the wall. They've both been playing such strong defense. Cooks are barely right there and able to block it away. Northern Gaming's hanging on, trying to force a game six. Northern Gaming Duda. have got to be hoping for this game to be over sometime soon because there's so much against them. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Puts it in! Mystic and Maestro were both there. It doesn't matter. Flip sides through. Northern Gaming are going to be third place yet again. Greasy Meister has unfortunately put out his original team. However, what a great series. A very disciplined series from Flipside Tactics. They've done it again. They've gone they, through the loser's bracket. They've done it again. We've said it all season long. Flipside Tactics are the gatekeepers of Rocket League. If you want to win a championship, you have to beat them in the finals. And that remains true to this day. They will face off against Mocket, and we will have the aged story of Flipside versus Pashi.
If you're a Flipside fan right now, you've got to be absolutely beaming. Did you get enough Flipside today for your liking? <laughs> we could have given you more Flipside if we tried, but Northern Gaming, they, yes, they managed to slow down the pace a little bit, but it never quite looked like it was going to be their series. They never quite looked like they were fast enough to take on Flipside. Yes, it was better than last time, but still, yes. it looks like Flipside has their number. So, so, so much. And just to see the way the Cookser plays, up for player of the year at this point, one of the best, if not the best player in the game. But it's not Cookster that we're going to be talking to, it is Greasy that is with Kelly over on the stage. Kelly, over to you. Everyone, give it up for Flipside Tactics. I know a lot is on your mind right now. You've seen this back in season one. It didn't work out in your favor. You've already lost to Mocket Aces. So I just want to ask, what are you guys going to do differently? Uh, we're not going to do anything differently. We, we wanted to go to the lower bracket to play a little bit more. and uh, So uh, they better watch out. You know what? I actually want to talk about that. Going to the lower bracket, you play more games, you get more experience, you're able to understand other players' play styles more. You, genuinely, what did you learn from playing these teams? Uh, we literally got warm, pretty much. Uh, we were pretty, we haven't played, or we didn't play that much yesterday before the games, and today we've been playing a lot, so now we're ready. Well, good luck, I know you got a lot on your mind. Get ready for the Grand Finals. Everyone give it up once more! Let's head back to our analysts. Thank you, Kelly. What an excellent match there. Flipside Tactics continuing their run in true Flipside Tactics fashion. They did something very similar Again, in the Grand Finals of Season 1, where they fell eventually to Ibe Power Cosmic. But now, they're advancing on. Let's take another look at the Mobile One High Performance Replay from that match for a recap on exactly how Flipside Tactics got their spot in the Grand Finals. Sure, the series was four games to one, but every single game coming down to one goal and four minutes and 19 seconds in. And you can never have too many cooks. Carpet, <laughs> Cooks here is just way too good. I knew this is around the time when the pressure builds up. Cooks here always delivers, and Greasy and Marky Duda were there to help support him. You know, and it's always devastating to watch monsters like, I mean, pretty much the entire Northern Gaming roster go down. They fought so valiantly, but it really did just seem like Flipside had it in. Very defensive series, all, but. Uh, you see Flipside, a lot of their goals came from those passing plays that they love to do where they don't throw it off the backboard. They use that open space and just throw it to one another and the three-way team plays will pretty much give a bad rebound and then they'll finish it off every single time. And that's how Flipside won this series. They played really well defensively and Cooks here again, coming up huge. And when he is on, it is so scary. Flipside is one of the more creative teams, especially when trying to deal with situations. And that's one of the things Marky said that they wanted to teach Greasy as soon as he moved over to their roster. They wanted to teach him those new creative ways as opposed to just slamming it off that backboard. And it's working well for them. Hopefully they don't make a good habit out of making themselves fight all day in the lower bracket. But again, mirroring exactly what we saw last season. Going up against a team that pushed them down here, now in the grand finals. It's excellent stories all across this weekend, and the stage is absolutely set. I want to thank our sponsors, though, one more time. Without them, this event would not be possible. Mobile One, Steel Series, Razor, NZXT, BenQ, and Vertigear. Go buy all their things and keep watching twitch.tv slash Rocket League. So much fun to watch all these matches as the stories get better and better. But, gentlemen, we have our grand final. We do. It's Flipside Tactics versus Mocket Aces, and it's next. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching the Grand Finals next for the Rocket League Championship Series for Season 2. It's time to crown a world champion. We're going to take a short break, and we'll be back with your Grand Finals. Flipside Tactics versus Mocket Aces. Don't worry.